New Jersey is taking another step forward in its phase reopening plan. Car dealerships and bicycle shops resume in-person sales today. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live in Westfield with more. Tony. And good afternoon, Dave. We are inside uh, J Cycle Center here in Westfield. It's been an institution in this area for more than 50 years. And yes, this is the first day they're finally allowing customers back inside the store. It's very busy today, but through all of this, uh, business for them has been booming. Jay and his crew have been offering curbside service during the stay at home shutdown. And with the situation with schools being closed, with people working from home, families have been dusting off their bicycles, pulling them out of sheds, uh, getting rid of that cabin fever, getting the family outside, and that has meant overtime hours for many bike shops like Jay's. We just heard him uh, tell a customer that sometimes they're here until midnight, uh, several nights in a row, trying to keep up with sales and repair demands. Now, to keep things safe, now that the store is open, the staff wears masks, they regularly clean door handles and such, and they um, try to keep customers who come inside down to social distance workable numbers. Numbers. It feels really nice to be able to pull the posters off that were closed or come see us around the service entrance and it's it's nice to be inviting again and welcoming the people and being in a bike shop's an experience and you want people to come in and touch and feel and see the colors and the bikes and swing your leg over a bike and you know it, it's just part of being here. We're just really trying to be conscious of the social distancing so if it's a family of four, we'll limit the next group that will come in. If they're just a few single people, that's okay. But as, they, as long as they mill about and respect everyone's distance, we're certainly okay with that. Yeah, and it's been a busy morning here at Jay's. As I'm looking outside, I see more customers pulling up. And you see all these bikes. When I first walked in, I thought these were just uh, new bikes on the showroom floor. Most of these bikes out here are actually in for maintenance or repair. That's how busy they have been. And you can see behind me, customers uh, are, are streaming in, and everybody's paying attention to wearing masks and social distancing. So coming up later on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock, we're going to talk more about this slow roll reopening of non-essential businesses. For